Hey guys, would like to show you my solution for a compact joystick. Well, it's a portable one, I think. So it has a three axis whole sensor joystick, which I would say is quite accurate. And so yes, one, two, and three axis. Then I have these those eight, eight buttons. Well, uh, there are twenty four because you can group by the action. So those are eight for landing or for navigation and then combat. You can map with your game, which in this case is uh, DCS. And then here. That's the throttle. Oh, let me let me show you. Well, I don't know if you can see it. Is that's the throttle? And then another additional analogic axis, which I map to take the the camera to see. Now, now let's have a flight together. So here we go. Hopefully, I will not crash because. Well, I'm not so good as a pilot and you never really learn to control this kind of beast. Well, she, she is really nice to fly, but I think a long time. Especially, it's, what I really find difficult is the dreaming. So let's say I'm up to trim with this button, so I trim. It was quite okay, but I always have to trim and change some few settings for speed or wind. Oh, as you can see, a yeah, few winds, so it's a crosswind. But anyway, I will find maybe a way to disengage the joystick trims, allowing me to relax my hand from or something else, a cup of coffee or whatever. So, as you can see, I still have some room for additional controls. You never know. Maybe I will put some more camera control if I don't want to use, of course, some head tracking solution. And this is nice to. Well, I would say this solution is quite good because at the end is a HID uh, controller, so I can play it in almost any game I want. Which is, well, you know, this is my favorite. But let's say if I want to use my keyboard or uh, my mouse, well, it's this compact solution is it's quite good. I don't like the big beast joystick, which is well, you know, maybe are good for immersion, but I'm just looking for accurate control. Uh, I think this is not so bad. So that's it. Bye.